Good morning. My name is Pauline and I'm with you this morning from Rosmiga, from the island of Anglesey in North Wales. Thank you for joining us from wherever you might be today. We in the Oblick family and community are so grateful that we can connect like this so that we can share God's word together and comfort and support one another by praying together and living as a community of faith and hope. Thank you for joining us online for this time of daily morning prayer together. As we celebrate the gift of our faith, let us remember in a special way those who are currently ill or isolated. Let us also take a moment to pray for the gift of peace, which is needed in so many hearts and different parts of the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. God of our journeying, inviting us to travel with you, forgive us when we cling to outworn security, afraid to get go, let go of what is safe and familiar. Give us courage to take the risk of answering your call into joyous adventure. Today's Gospel reading is from John. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. These verses emphasise Jesus' constant protection of his disciples. He is the good shepherd. He is the vine, the way, the truth and the life. In his final prayer, Jesus asked the Father to guard and protect his friends. Today, Jesus affirms once again that the will of God is that he should not lose anything of what God gave him, but that he should raise them, on, uh, raise them up on the last day. The Father's will is that everyone who knows the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life and that in the resurrection day, Christ shall raise him from the grave. These verses show that the will of the Father applies to everyone who believes in the Son and that Christ has brought to light immortality. He is the resurrection and the life. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Today, may I give and receive love. Today, may I work for justice. Today, may I listen and pray. Today, may I sing God's praises. Today, may I delight in God's beauty. Today and every day. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jochen Valve, thank you very much for taking this time to be with us. I hope you have a lovely day. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.